You know, the view as well. It's one of those little wind up. Ooh, yeah, need to yawn today. One of those little wind up uh, music boxes. This is quite a modern one with a lot of plastic in it. Some of the really old ones are um, quite well made, all metal. It's fascinating how this works. The actual part here, the chime, precision bit of a uh, machined and cut steel strips. Camera can bloody focus. See how to cut it on an angle there to get your different notes. That's unreal. And this cam has all these uh, uh, lobes on it to whatever song it's supposed to be. Made by artisans, not artisans. Yeah, some of the old antique, like the old ones from the 50s, are quite uh, well made. This is actually quite a cheap one. You can actually move this in and out and adjust it. And this little thing here is a governor. And that spins and there's such a figure weight uh, yeah, there, sl it's uh, sliding out and governs the speed of the song. Interesting. Now, if yours, let's see what this dried out condenser does in the microwave. That came out of the HR, the Healing radio I installed. Got some foil on there, so I'm expecting it to make some sparks. That's one dried out condenser or capacitor. Okay, power on. Oh, not even sparks or plasma or flames. That's disappointing. Okay, let's try something else. Yeah, viewers, Christmas lights are back in here again. But H4 bulb. Let's see what these do now. Alright, plug that in. Power on. Oh, plasma. Heat. Yeah, imagine trying to not too warm. Bloody plastic that remained. There you go. Produces quite a lot of plasma those bulbs. Had the Pyrex dish held up to it. All those bulbs are still cracking. Let that cool down and place air out. Smells a bit Christmas uh, tree like plastic now. Viewers, let's finish off this circuit board before I do that. Keep that fuse. Be a handy spare. This is my new capacitor back. I've had a chance I haven't had a chance to test this anywhere out yet. 33rd and microfabric capacitor back. I might hook up together with that one. Two two hundred plus thirty three hundred. Might make a nice uh, extra bang. Let's give this an ear a test and see how this an ear goes. Put it on the fuse holder there. Alright. Charge it up. Ah, nice bang. Ah, it rotted itself. Nice bang.
Hmm, nothing much to pop on a circuit board. Hmm, wonder what that one would be like. Have extra capacitance, even bigger bangs. Discharge that. Okay, let's try something else. Might move it, just see if I can, um... I wonder what we'll do if I discharge it across that coil. So first, before we touch, we'll discharge this, make sure it's discharged. Safety first. So we'll sit this on there. Yeah, it's discharged. Good to double check. Hmm. Vaporize some solder. Uh, let's see, we also got to pop, maybe put it on a trace here, next to this MOV. Go from this side of the board, it's easier. Alright. Charge it up. through that um, coil. Hmm. Hot uh, bits of solder. Let it charge all the way up. Oh, something went bang. Nice bang. That was quite hot. There you go, it's welded itself. Alright, that's permanently discharging. Let's try that deflection coil, see if we can get an interesting out of that. See if we can pop some of the uh, copper on that. Let's roll it on there, can't get that off. Resistor still intact. MIV is still intact. Make a person is still intact. You can see it blew a hell of a hole on the board there. See if I can find the right connection. Um, try one of those pins. See if this does anything. Hopefully, there's cotton or something I can pop it. Charging up. No. Nah. Oh, I'll find something else to pop. It's got no continuity left in that uh, deflection coil. Right past any current, so discharge this. Alright, let's try something else. Okay, if it was, I got these in series to double the voltage here. Let's power on. Charging. Oh, some of the circuit board.
Oh, the red is on this one. Let's go on high capacity. It's, uh, it's discharged. Power off. Unplug safety first. Yep. Zero volts in there. And it's empty. Let's reconfigure it. So put these banks in parallel for more capacitance. Let's try that. Okay, if you always got both the banks and uh, the banks are in parallel now for more um, capacitance. Reconnect the charger. Now it's accumulated some DC voltage there and it's been completely discharged. The caps are still good. Alright, um, let's see what else I could pop. And that circuit board there, so it's just doing everything on there, it can pop. Alright, well, safety glasses are a must. Alright, power on. Take a while to charge. Definitely more capacitance there. Eh? Oh, yes. Hmm, bit of dirt in the pipe. That's better. That was a nice bang. Takes a while to charge though. And you're actually smoking up the circuit board now. You can see how much charge I'm getting. Takes a lot longer to charge. That's better. That's 33 and 22, that's 5,500 microfarads. That must be shorted. Let it charge up. Takes a lot longer to charge. Now, I might need a bigger light bulb, maybe a 500 watt halogen or something, be a good ballast. Got the 250 volts DC on that one. Now, right. discharge that, power off. Right, let's try something else. Okay, of yours, this is a PCB, was a nice big flash there. Blew some traces up, completely obliterated them. Two of them there completely vanished. That's what the big bang was. Oh, I'm gonna properly set those capacitor banks up and properly join them up with some cable. Start having some more fun. Okay, if you also just solder those wires on, and I'll just uh, take transfer the charge over to this bank. Stick them on a nice board, they can start having some more fun. I also took this uh, 12, 12 volt AC synchronous motor apart. Hmm, the magnet is cracked. Okay, it's inside there. Unfortunately, the gears in this are almost the same, but not quite to fit in this uh, gearbox here. Unfortunately, not the right ones. It's close, but not quite. Okay, viewers, let's solder these up, and this will be it. It's be my new. Uh, Beefed up capacitor bank. Okay, over yours, that's all nice and complete. That'll work out quite well. That's my 5500 microfarad 400 volt capacitor bank done. Thanks for watching.